Hello and welcome to our new YouTube tutorial. In this video we will create an animated landing page with HTML and CSS. Let's go ahead and take a look at the finished project. If we reload the page then you will see the full screen background image appearing with a nice animation. Once it is displayed then it changes its shape like so. So the project is going to be a little one but I hope it will be interesting and you will enjoy it. Alright, let's get started. I've created a new folder on the desktop called landing page animation in which I have another folder for the images. Let's go ahead and open this folder in VS Code. Then create our working files for HTML and CSS. We need index.html and style.css. Then open the index.html file and create a basic HTML document. For that we have to place here an exclamation mark and then press tab or enter. Alright, first of all I'm going to change the title. It's going to be landing page animation. And then let's link the CSS file. I'm going to open link tag. And then we have to define the path of the file. Okay, finally, let's go ahead and run the project to the browser with a live server and then place the editor and the browser like so. Okay, so we are ready to start. First of all, I'm going to create an HTML markup. Let's open deep tag with a class container. So we will have two different elements inside the container. The first one is going to be the landing. As for the second one, I'm going to call it BG. Alright, that's it about the HTML markup. Let's go ahead and start to write some CSS. First of all, I'm going to create some default and reset styles. I'm going to select every element using an asterisk. And then I'm going to get rid of default, margin and padding. Let's set both properties to zero. After that, I'm going to take care of the container. Let's select it and define its width and height. The width is going to be 100%. As for the height, I'm going to make it 100% of the viewport. And also change the background color. I'm going to use RGB value 184. 165119. Alright, so here we have the container with a background color. That's it about the container. Let's move on and take care of the landing. Let's select this element and first of all let's define width and height. I'm going to set both properties to 100%. And then let's define the background. First of all I'm going to use linear gradient function. I'm going to pass here two RGBA values. Both of them will be black colors with opacity 0.8. Then I'm going to define the path of the image. We need URL, then the folder name images, and we have to select bg.jpg. And also let's add here no repeat. Besides that, I'm going to define the background size. It's going to be cover. Okay, so here we have the landing with a full screen background image. Let's move on and take care of the second element, which is a PG. So this element will cover the landing. Once we reload the page, then it will disappear and the landing will display. So first of all, let's define width and height. I'm going to make both of them 100%. And then change the background color. I'm going to use here the same RGB value that we used for the container. Okay, so here we have the background, but right now it is placed below the landing. And as I said, we need to place it on top of the landing. For that, I'm going to use positions and the Z index property. First of all, I'm going to set position to absolute. Then let's define top and left properties. I'm going to make both of them zero. And then we need Z index property with some higher value than zero. 
let's say 10. All right, so as you can see, the background covers the landing and now it's time to create the animation. We need to disappear the background once we reload the page. So let's create CSS keyframes. I'm going to call it BG Anim. So overall, we'll have three different steps. I'm going to decrease the scale of the element, but according to the Y axis. So at zero and 50%, the scale is going to be 1. Then we need transform scale y with the value 1. And then from 50% to 100% we'll decrease the scale to 0. So at 100% we need transform scale y 0. Okay, so the keyframes are ready and now we have to apply these tiles to the element. We need animation property, then at first we have to define the name of the animation, it's going to be BG Anim, and then we need duration 2 seconds. So as you can see the elements are animating, but we have here two issues. The element is disappearing in the center of the page. It happens because by default the origin of the transformation is center and we have to change it. As for the second issue, once the element disappears, then it displays back again. So we need to maintain scale as zero. At first let's change the transform origin. We need to make it top. So now one problem is fixed. As for the second issue we need to add to the animation property value called forwards. It keeps all the styles that are defined at the last step of the animation. So now as you can see everything works fine. Now we need to take care of the second animation. I mean we need to change the shape of the landing. I'm going to do that using one of the CSS properties called Clip Path. Actually I can recommend one of the websites. Let's search for Clip Path. Where you can play around with different shapes and you can grab the proper CSS code from here. So in our case we have a shape with seven different points. In order to transform one shape into another with a transition effect, then both shapes should have the same number of points. I have all of the prepared values. Actually you can play around with different shapes and values, it is up to you. So I'm going to create CSS keyframes with the name Landing Anim. Overall we'll have three different steps. At 0 and 50% will have the same shape. So let's use clip path with the polygon function and I'm going to pass here the following values. The first point is going to be 50% 0, then we will have 70% 0, next one is going to be 100% 0, then 100% twice 0, 100%, then we will have 0 twice, 30% and 0. As for the 100%, we have to change these values, so we need clip path, polygon, the first point is going to be 50%, 4%, then we will have 70%, 10%, then 95 and 0, 95, 87%, then 5% and 100, 5%, 15%, and the last point is going to be 31%, 10%. Alright, so the keyframes are ready, let's run the animation. Let's define the name of the keyframes, landing anim. The duration is going to be 4 seconds. And like the previous case, we need here forwards. So if we reload the page, then the element will change its shape smoothly. Actually, I want to add here one more thing. If we take a look at the finished project, 
then you will see that the background image is moving up smoothly so let's go ahead and add this effect as well we need to define background position by default it's going to be center top and then we need to change it in the animation we need center bottom All right, so now everything works perfectly and with the project we are done. Hopefully it was interesting and you learned some new stuff. If you liked this video, then please thumbs up, comment below, share it, subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get notified on coming tutorials. See you next time.